Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what near future actions the person that is on your mind will be taking toward you. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of this person's near future actions toward you, we have intimate dates, reconciliation, and we also have the Queen of Wands along with the Devil, all right? So there's a few things going on here. When it comes to this person, you're going to notice that they're going to be showing you some attention, okay? Or trying to get your attention. This person may ask you to go out on a date or they're going to be letting you know that they want the two of you to spend time together. This is all a part of their way of getting you to let your guard down, okay? Because I feel like this person, they want you to relax or they want to put you in a setting where you will relax, okay? So for some of you, they may want to go out for drinks or they may want the two of you to just have like an intimate night together, spend time together, maybe even spend the whole night together. They want you to have fun with them. They, Like I said, they want you to let those boundaries down. Okay, they're hoping that the two of you will reconcile. So this person, they're going to be coming toward you, letting you know that they want to reconcile with you. They also feel as though if they could just get a night with you, okay, or spend some quality time with you, that you will want to reconcile with them, okay? But with this Queen of Wands, along with this um, Devil energy being here, it concerns me a little bit, okay, because... I feel like for one, this person, they see you standing in your power. They see you being very confident. They feel as though you know what you want. And even if you don't feel that way, that's how this person, that's how they view you. Okay. So they see you being confident, standing in your power. They see you attractive or as being attractive and they want to break you down. Okay. This devil energy feels as though you're getting a little out of hand. It's almost like, wait a minute, you know, you're confident, you're you're doing what's best for you, you're more focused on yourself, and you seem to be happy. Um, you know, wait a minute, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get you to calm down a little bit. I gotta put put this chain, try to put this chain on you. I don't like this energy because there's something about you where there's jealousy when it comes to this person. I don't know what their problem is, but there's envy. There's jealousy here. There's a huge obsession. This person, it's like they're jealous of your looks, which I know you're probably thinking like, well, why would someone that I've dealt with like an ex or someone that I'm dealing with, why would they be jealous of my looks? I don't know. But this person, they don't like the attention that you get. OK, um, they're jealous of how you look. They don't like when you're confident in yourself. OK, they don't like you standing in your power. So with this devil energy, they feel like they need to get like a hold on you or um, to, to bind you in some way, shape or form. OK, you see, like even in this deck, I'm sorry, on this card, there's two people here and they're chained to each other. That's how this person that's how they want things to be, okay? I I just I don't I don't like it. I feel like this person you're about to see their jealous side. You're about to see a possessive side in this person, okay? You're about to see a dark side of them and um it's all because they feel like you're getting out of hand. And what I mean by that is this person, they feel like you're you're gaining too much confidence. You're becoming too powerful. You're 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 practicing self-love. You're um going after your goals, you're career driven. Whatever it is, there's something about you that this person doesn't like, but at the same time, it's like a superficial thing, but it's also like something within you like they don't like to see you shining bright they don't like it 
this is weird. Ugh, it is weird. Like, for some of you, they're going to be lying to you. They're going to be trying to manipulate you, things such as that. But I feel like the main thing is to get like a grip of a grip on you and this is very seductive energy like if you were to be intimate with this person i'm telling you they're gonna try their best to get you addicted or to seduce you in some way shape or form if you were to have an intimate date with this person they're gonna be in the energy of um dominating over you or possessing being possessive over you, controlling you in some way, shape, or form. So if you were to decide to be intimate with this person, just be very careful because the energy that they're in, um, you know, and sex is energy. So I feel like if you were to have this intimate date, they're going to try to gain control over you using sexual energy okay this person believe it or not they're very good with that they've done it they've done it before this is how they bind people it's a sexual thing i feel like those of you that are not being sexual with this person it's gonna be a little bit easier for you to move on from them um if that's what you're wanting to do there's still some soul tie energy here binding you to this person but if you're intimate with them you can you can kiss all of the progress you've <laughs> how however you've progressed in healing you can kiss that goodbye if you were to be intimate with this person because I'm telling you um it's not it's not gonna be a safe thing it's not they're very they know what they're doing or they will know what they're doing they've done it before. It's almost like they're going to try to bind you through sex. I wouldn't be surprised if it's sex magic and they don't even know they're doing it. It's like they're going to be putting some type of control. Like there's going to be some kind of control dynamic or they may chant things while they're having sex with you or um, any type of intimate encounter. It doesn't even have to be sexual. It can just be being close to this person. They feel like they have to, to to bind you. That's all it is to it. I'm trying not to go too deep into this. And I don't want to freak any of you out. But this isn't something to take lightly. Because this person, they are determined to bind you. Okay? And some of you feel it. Because you're looking at the devil. Mm, I, I just don't like it. So, yeah, they're going to come in giving you a little something. And it may be, you know, some energy. It may be, um, it's going to be energy. But it's going to be like messages or they may want to spend some time with you. There's something they're going to be giving you. But it's almost like I'm looking at this as breadcrumbs. Like there's something they're going to give you a little bit of something. Okay. And it's to see if you're still willing to fight for this. Okay. Okay. They're going to be letting you know that they haven't given up on you. This person, they may tell you some things. They may express emotion to you. Okay. They also want to see if, um, if there's something that you will say that will reveal if you are still hoping that things will work out. They're trying to, it's like they're trying to get information. It's very strategic. It's like, okay, I'm going to come in and give him or her a little bit of energy, okay? And then I'm going to see when he or she tells me things, when they talk to me, I'm going to see what I can find out. Maybe they'll reveal something to me, you know, in regards to their feelings so I can know if they're still going to fight for this. That's what type of energy this is. They may even um, tell you they want to be together, like they want to... um make things official be in a relationship with you they want to also see if you you're still enthusiastic about being with them they're going to tell you they want marriage that they want to settle down okay but keep in mind this person's coming to you as a page just keep that in mind okay 
Hmm. Yeah, see, it's manipulation. This person, they're going to be trying to play off of a soft spot. So be careful with that because they don't want you moving forward. So this person, they're going to try to manipulate you to come back toward them. Okay. It's like they're going to be coming off, making you think that they possess these qualities that you may have saw in them at one point in time in the past. So just, just, I can't say it enough. Be careful. Okay. Because I feel like this person may have betrayed you. They may have even betrayed you numerous times, but see, now they're going to start giving to this situation. They want the two of you to move forward after an ending or after a betrayal. I also feel like they're going to be trying to see it, how much you're willing to give to this or how much you're willing to put in, um, how much energy you're willing to put in. Okay. See, look, they're trying to figure out, they're going to go by what you say. They're going to be trying to figure out, they're going to be trying to figure out if you're still wanting to fight for this. I also feel like when it comes to any endings or any betrayal that this person puts you through, they're going to try to gloss over that. Meaning this person, they're going to try to charm their way back into your life. They're going to sweet talk you. They're going to try to make it seem as though it's not as bad as what you think it was. When in reality, you know the truth. Okay, so when it comes to your, um, when it comes to you guys, just make sure that you're saying logical. Don't let your emotions get the best of you, okay? Because as long as you're thinking logical, as long as you're logical, you'll be able to see through the lies. You'll see this person for the page that they are, okay? But if you let your emotions, if you think with your emotions or you react out of emotion, you may sabotage you may sabotage yourself yourself or your healing okay like there's something hidden there's something being hidden that you're not completely aware of but you will be aware of it as long as you use head above heart don't lead with your emotions okay use your mind use your um your brain okay yeah they're gonna be telling you they want to work on things okay they're going to tell you they want to build with you. Um, they want to make things work. All right. See, they feel like you're waiting for them to bring a commitment toward you. So they're going to be coming in telling you they want to come together with you. Okay. But it's all manipulation to keep you from walking away. See, they feel like there may be a third party in the mix. So they want to stop you from walking toward that third party. And there may not even be a third party that you're dealing with, but this person, they think that there's a third party. So they want to manipulate you or keep you from going towards someone else. This person, like they don't want you having a happy life, celebrating anything like that. They don't want you doing it unless, unless they're in the picture. This is going to be specific. It's not for everybody. For some of you, this person may propose or they're going to tell you they want to marry you. Okay. But it's all to change your perspective of them. It's all to keep you stuck in your healing process. So just make sure that you're using discernment. Okay. Because I can't tell you guys enough how um, this isn't anything to take lightly. This is someone that sees you standing in your power and they they don't like that. It's like they want to take your power from you. And they're going to do it by coming as what you desire, coming toward you as the devil, okay? And there's always something attached to the devil. So it's going to sound good, it's going to feel good, it's going to look good. But behind it is complete darkness. There's something very toxic behind it. There are lies behind it. There's manipulation. There's control. There's jealousy. There's addictions. But that's their whole point is to get you addicted to them. It's, it's really narcissistic. 
So for some of you, they may be coming back around and love bomb you. And I don't use the term narcissist lightly. If any of you have ever dealt with a narcissist, you understand what I'm saying. Like, um, just keep your guard up. And those of you that are wanting to reconcile with this person, you're going to get that opportunity. But just be careful, okay? Protect yourself because... Anything that this person, any move that they make toward you, there's something hidden behind it. They like to be in control of you. And it's crazy because it's like, how, how can you control a whole other human? But see, this person, they view you as a possession. They view you as a possession. There's something you said or something you did or maybe they can feel it because like I said, there's so tight energy here. There's something about you where this person is sensing that you're getting stronger or that you mean business or you're putting yourself first. You're practicing self-love and they don't like it. I'm telling you, they don't like it. Shattered. See, they want you to feel broken or they want you to feel as though... Um, they don't want you to get over the things that they've done to you. In a way, they want you to get over it. But they don't want you to get over it to the point where you get over them. It's like they want that hole to be left in your heart. They want to have like a huge impact on you. Even if it's from the negative aspects. That's still energy. It's still a hold on you. There's still a void. If you let it be, if you don't work on your heart chakra and things, they want your mind and thoughts racing. They, I'm telling you, they want you to feel like you cannot get over them. Look, self-love and right beside that love, hate. I was just saying that, that this person, some of you have been practicing self-love. You're learning to love yourself and make sure that your happiness is your own priority. And they hate that. I'm angry, but I still love you. Just hate what you do. So this person, they hate the fact that you're loving yourself. It's like they want you to love them more than you love yourself. Even if that means being broken, being shattered. This is crazy. And this card looks demonic to me. Like, look, look at this person, how they're looking at this other person. Oh, I don't like it. And I'm sorry, like, I'm hoping that positive things come out. Because I see in the comment section, every now and then I'll see somebody that says, you know, your readings are just so, um, you know, they're negative. You talk about this, that, and the other. You're talking about STDs. You're talking about um, how someone's obsessed and possessive and this, that. I cannot help what comes out. And I'm not going to lie to you to feed your ego. I'm not going to do that. There's plenty of readers out there, but I'm not going to sell you a dream. I'm not going to come with this devil energy, making you think that this, there's something desirable about this when I know that there's a lot of darkness attached to it. It's almost like they see you as someone that was um addicted to them or like they feel like they were able to seduce you at one point and so it's almost like let's have this um intimate encounter so i can give you your fix it's almost like that type of energy and for some reason this person they want you to see them as irresistible because that's how they see you they see you as irresistible Mm, I just, I don't like it. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Um, Give me more about this person's near future actions for my viewers when it comes to love. For everyone watching this reading, what are the near future actions? Thank you. Balance. So they're going to try to balance things out between the two of you. Okay. Finding balance between giving and receiving. And that's what I was telling you guys before. They're going to give you a little something. Okay. They're going to give you a little bit of their energy. And it's mainly because they're under a lot of pressure right now. Okay. So they feel pressured to balance things out with you. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh no just be careful that this person isn't still dealing with um friends with benefits or anything like that i do feel as though they may have had a friends with benefits at one point in time or they may even have it now but or have one now but i feel like they want to do away with that i do feel that way but it you know it's up to them whether they decide to do it or not they may also be under pressure from a friends with benefits someone um It's like someone that they used to have casual sex with, like a friends with benefits. I see that person coming toward them. But see, they're just playing that person. They're just playing them. And look, the next card is control. See, they want control over you. I want to feel in control than to lose myself in love. This person, they want to have your heart on a string, baby. Or on a chain, whatever you want to call it. They don't feel like they're in control of you anymore. So they feel like they can bring about change through lust. I'm telling you, be careful, guys. Okay, give me another card when it comes to this person's near future actions for my viewers, Holy Spirit. Thank you. All right, so we have tough beginning. It's not going to be easy, but I'm willing to fight for our love. So this person, they're going to be doing some things to... Um, show you that they want to fight for things but i feel like it's going to be rough like even if you want to reconcile with this person it's going to be tough to get things off the ground because of the simple fact of all of the things that's been revealed to you about this person and also because you guys got off to um you know a rough start or there's just been a very it's been a very rocky relationship with revealing being here i'm telling you they're going to reveal some things to you like, and it may be in regards to their feelings, okay? Give me more in regards to this person's near future actions toward my viewers. Thank you. We have a few that came out. So we have holding on. So their near future action is to get you to hold on to them or to do something to cause you to feel like you can't let go. Shattered. See, they want to shatter. I feel like this person wants to shatter your um, self-esteem or the self-love that you've been practicing. They want to, I'm telling you, they want to do some damage. They may want to um, break you, okay? Because I was telling you guys before, like this person, like they feel like you are getting too powerful or you're feeling yourself a little too much. We also have love story. Okay, so they're going to come at you with a love offer. But I just want you guys to keep in mind that, you know, they're going to be doing it, going about it the wrong way. That's what concerns me. Okay, give me more about this devil with the Queen of Wands, Holy Spirit. Why is that here for this person's, oof, for this person's near future actions toward my viewers? Why is the Queen of Wands here with the devil? Why is, that, why is that here for this person's near future actions? Thank you. Okay. So we have the Knight of Cups. See, they're coming to seduce you. They want to romance you. Okay. They want to romance you. See, they're trying to get you to trust them again. But the way that they're going to come is they're going to come like they're serious. Like they want this Ten of Pentacles. But remember... You know, they're coming toward you as a page or as a knight. So this is charmer energy. They're going to try to romance you. They're going to try to charm you. Hmm. For some of you, they're going to come in when, um, when, when you least expect it. They've definitely been spying on you. Give me more. Why is this devil here? Give me more about the devil for this person's near future actions. But they're coming in to romance you. more about this devil why is that here for this person's near future actions toward my viewers mm -mm, something they don't want you to know it's too hard to get something to come out see look i told you they were gonna try to charm you 
So for one, I'm going to tell you this. When they come at you, they may even reveal some feelings to you. But it's going to be flip-flop energy because at one point they're going to come in expressing emotion being all charming loving dovey giving you some emotion then suddenly you're going to feel like they're friends on you okay hmm. just be careful they may come on kind of strong too what give me more about this queen of wands why is that here for this person's near future actions thank you see they want you to come back toward them this person is determined to win you over they want you to come up out of the cold okay they want you to come back toward them they want you to return but at the same time they don't want you to use the wisdom that you gained in regards to them they want you to be naive Be careful because they're going to come playing some mind games. They're determined to get you to come back toward them. So there's a return here. There is a return. All right. Hmm. Let me get you some advice and then we'll end the reading. So, um, Holy Spirit, give me advice for all of my viewers, um, for everyone watching this reading. When it comes to the person that is on my viewer's mind, when it comes to love, give me advice for them, for their overall, for my viewers' overall highest good. When it comes to this person, give me advice when it comes to this person for the overall highest good and overall best good of my viewers. Give me advice. Okay. See, they're saying remain single from this person. They're saying you're better off without them. Okay. They're actually saying there's something new coming in for you. Okay. Ooh, and it's going to be, it's going to end in a lot of happiness or it's going to be something, it's going to be a very happy um, new start for you. Also, there's going to be a lot of growth. Okay. For some of you, it may be with an earth sign or with a Leo. Okay, because for some of you, this ex or this person that is coming with this devil energy, it may be a test. Okay, <sighs> they'll end up betraying you again. So just be careful with that. Okay, just be careful. Don't let this person sell you a dream. Use your intuition. You know better than that. Okay, if they tell you they want to be a family with you. You know, or that they want to settle down. They're not telling the full truth. I do feel as though they want to settle down with you, but they're not ready yet. So just keep that in mind. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. Um, if you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.